Welcome back. Uh, we've made some exciting progress down in our basement. It's time to uh, get another update and we'll show you what's going on. Come on down. So last time uh, we gave you an update, we had just installed the plumbing and we're waiting for the city to sign off on it. They came in and uh, gave us the green light to go ahead and bury the plumbing, so we did. You see we got the ProVent uh, pipe for our vanity here. We've got a pipe over there in the corner for our tub, toilet there, and uh, we'll get this all, get the floors in and start worrying about uh, putting walls in and, and putting the plumbing in place. But um, come in and take a look. I wanted to show you some of the things about the uh, old house. So. The original concrete floors for this space was here at the top of this footing, pretty much where the top of this uh, this form is. So we, um, everything below this, all this dirt that's missing, that's dirt that uh, we hauled out. Uh, some of you have asked where all that dirt has gone. Uh, it was 52 yards, 52 cubic yards of dirt that we've removed uh, by bucket. And uh, fortunately, we have a long property line that uh, has been a nice place for it. So um, anyway, uh, you can see the footing here, this orange line along the top of it is where that's level. If you look over here on this side, you'll notice that the footing, uh, the line does not go across the top of the footing, but uh, the line is level, which means that the footing is not level. And when they dug this hole out 110 years ago with pickaxes and shovels, when they decided to lay the footing, they just uh, didn't bother to make it level. and uh, stacked rocks on it and leveled it off on the top. So uh, the big room, the other room, it's actually uh, just as dramatic of a unlevel space. In fact, the whole um, whole house at a footing level sort of tilts to the uh, to the west. Um, all right, well, come on into the big room and we'll uh, take a look. on in. Uh, you can see uh, where the post holes have been dug. Those are going to be the footings for our new support posts. We have two temporary posts in place. We had to remove one in the middle um, in order to make room for the, for the additional posts. And uh, we'll get the new posts in. Once that's in, we will remove the old posts. We want to save those for a project later. The uh, middle post, we didn't tell our subcontractor um, in time and they, that one ended up being destroyed when it was removed. So uh, anyway, the uh, uh, next steps will be for us to have the footings poured tomorrow, which we'll, uh, get, we'll uh, see those. And then once that's done, we will level out these floors um, perfectly in preparation to pour a floor. And that's probably about 10 days out. So. Uh, lots of exciting things happening. Uh, once we get this uh, concrete work done, then the real creative process begins and all the pieces start coming together to finish the space. So shortly after we took that video, uh, we had the footings poured and got the floors, the dirt leveled for the concrete floors to go in. Here you can see the before and after where it looks amazing. We uh, can't say enough good things about the concrete contractor that did the work for us. Uh, they were very professional and and did very uh, high quality work for us. Here you can see the footings uh, for the posts were put in and then we poured the floors on top of those. Um, the uh, basement is ready to go for framing and electrical and to do our uh, finished plumbing. So we will be working on that over the coming weeks and we'll give you an update. Thanks for following us.